Hey boys and girls, thanks for coming to Storytime. My name is Cousin John, and today we are going to read a book that I wrote called Chase Learns to Share. How many people here like sharing? So cool, right? Well, let's read about Chase and his experience with sharing and see how it goes. Chase woke up with a smile on his face. He was going to visit a very special place. He could barely sleep thinking about today. His parents promised to take him to the park to play. This amazing park was like no other. Chase could play basketball with his dad while being cheered on by his mother. He loved to get on the swings and imagine that he could fly but nothing was better than the breeze he felt coming down the giant slide. They arrived at the park and Chase was ready to go. As he got closer to the swings, he shouted, oh no. Chase stopped in his tracks and began to stare. He couldn't help but notice that there were kids everywhere. The jungle gym was taken and so were the swings. All of the children were using Chase's favorite things. While everyone else had a smile on their face, Chase wished that he could have his own space. Boys and girls, have you ever wished you could have your own space? So you know how Chase is feeling. Let's see what he does about it. Chase found a bench and watched the other kids on the court. Go play, said Dad. Basketball is your favorite sport. Chase explained that he would rather play alone. Sadly, he asked if they could just go back home. That's when his dad gave some really good advice. To make sure that Chase understood, he said it twice. These children love the park just as much as you. If you learn how to share, you can have fun too. That sounds like a really good message, boys and girls. Let's see what Chase does with that information. Chase took the advice and walked up to a boy named Jamal. He politely asked if they could be teammates in basketball. They played together until the game came to an end. Jamal said to Chase, you're pretty cool. We should be friends. Together, the friends walked over to the jungle gym. That's when they met the twins, Kevin and Kim. Chase asked if they could share so that everyone would have a chance to climb. Sounds like a great idea, said the twins at the exact same time. They all took turns, and it was time for a new game. That's when a boy appeared on a skateboard. His name was Kane. Chase stared at the skateboard and couldn't help but ask, Do you mind sharing with us? That looks like a blast. How many people know how to skateboard? The friends took turns on the skateboard as Kane gave them tips. They noticed a girl named Jada who was about to have a fit. I wanted that toy, she shouted. It's not fair. That's when the group of friends decided to show her how to share. In no time at all, the problem was solved. Jada was having so much fun that she decided to tag along. Together, the friends played soccer and had a race. They even pretended to be astronauts exploring outer space.
It was almost time for the children to say goodbye. But before leaving, they had to get on the giant slide. They rushed down the slide, laughing with their hands in the air. Chase was glad he made new friends and so happy he learned to share. The end. So, ladies and gentlemen, did you enjoy the story? Great, that makes me so happy. So, Chase, when he started out, he was a bit nervous about this whole idea of sharing. But with some advice from his dad and putting into practice the idea of sharing, he was able to meet new friends, learn new games, and have a really fun time. So like Chase, I ask that all of you do your best job to share, have fun, and have a great time with new people. So... I know a lot of you were able to ask questions on Instagram that you might have for me as the author of the book. So right now, let's take a look and see what questions we have. We're going to share three questions today. So the first question that we have is what made you want to become an author? That's a really good question. So in real life, Chase is my little cousin. And I wrote this book because I wanted Chase to be able to see an image of himself in a story. I went to buy him his first book. The bookstore I went to didn't have anything that featured African-American characters. So I said, you know what? That's important for Chase to see himself. I'll write a book for Chase and other children just like him. So that when you're reading, you can relate to the characters and understand that, hey, you could be one of the characters in the book too. Great question. Let's see what we have next here. This is a good one. So the second question is, what are some skills that you need to become an author? Um, I'll tell you the most important skill, like the most important thing you can think about is being able to use your imagination. So as I said, Chase, in real life is my little cousin, but I wrote the first story before he was even born. So I had to use my imagination, get really creative, and think about all of the exciting things Chase might want to do in real life. I used ideas that were things that I did when I was a child. I thought about things that my friends liked to do when they were kids too. I took all of that information and I'm able to create a story. So being able to use your creativity is really important. Some other things that you might want to consider, paying attention in school. Do your teachers tell you to try your best? Do your teachers tell you to double check your work? Do they tell you to work well with, ask you to work well with others? As an author, I have to do all of the same things. So paying attention in school is going to be really important, doing your best, um, is going to be extremely helpful if you want to become an author yourself. And let's see, there's another question here. Oh, great questions today, ladies and gents. Uh, this question is, what is my favorite part about being an author? For me, it's being able to share stories with people like you. I get to show you my creativity and my skills as an author we get to experience this story together, and hopefully maybe one day, you'll write some stories too that you can share with me. You know what, let's, one more question, because they're all so good, I don't wanna, I don't wanna stop answering these great questions. All right, so this question is, can I, someone asked, can they be an author too? Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely. If you have a story to tell, if you have creativity, if you want to use your words, you can write your own story. And you don't have to wait. You can start right now. So if you enjoy reading Chase Learns to Share, I ask you to write your own story about sharing with someone in your family and how that makes you happy. Thanks again for coming to Storytime. Have a great day.